Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Udo Technical Developer. As you can see, we are currently logged in with Udo version 13 Community Edition. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to configure payment acquirers uh, to do online payments uh, on the basis of the sales order or on the basis of the invoices. So let me show you how we can do it and how we can create um, uh, some accounts and testing account for uh, configuring the uh, online payments methods okay so first of all uh, we are using uh, a run boot Udo, Udo 13 community edition and here we need to install sales module and invoicing module okay after that we need to uh, do some uh, we need to activate some options like here uh, under the settings we need to uh, uh, activate online payments uh, payment okay you have this option online payments uh, for the sales order online payments for the invoices okay and the next thing is to uh, uh, like invoicing change the invoicing policy to ordered quantity so that whenever uh, the payment is done from the sales order it created the invoice automatically so we need to activate this uh, option also like whenever uh, uh, and payment is done uh, through payment acquirers and a date uh, sale order should be validated uh, automatically and then it should create the invoice on the basis of the order quantities okay so let me activate this option and uh, we can configure the email template here like what uh, email template we need to use to send the email on the confirmation so let me um, save it and let and then we will go to the payment acquirer screen and before that uh, we need to create uh, some testing account so we will use our authorized.net payment acquirer uh, to uh, configure it so for this purpose you will have to first create authorized.net um, uh, sandbox account uh, authorized.net sandbox account so you just need to write this in the search and then click the first link to create the account so here uh, you need to uh, enter your name uh, full name first name and uh, last name acquired okay something like this okay and then here uh, you need to choose uh, the region so here uh, like i'm um, from uh, Pakistan and here you need to add the email so I just created uh, an email for this purpose so let me just add it here uh, like this and payment equals at the rate of uh, gmail.com this is actually test uh, like sandbox is a test account so you can do the testing this is not the real account so uh, i will just add i'm freelancer and i like let me freelancer okay job level is individual uh and then company name is uh payment query okay sandbox currency is us dollar so you can select whatever you want to add so create a login id uh so like uh, we can add payment uh, so we will have to uh, save this somewhere in order to use it later and login must be 8 to 20 characters both letters and numbers so no symbol both letter and number so we will have to use like this it is fine and then we need to add the password I think one two three. Okay, it should be like um, thirteen sixteen characters. Uh, so it will be one number, one uppercase, and one lowercase. Okay. Um, okay. And then hit I. I'm not the report and I accept the policy. Okay, hit the submit button. So this is not correct. It should be just correct both letters and numbers. 
no symbol so it is it contains letter only okay so we need to add one uh, number also like one two three it is okay now and submit okay so uh password can be a dictionary word with a simple number as a test account password password can be a dictionary okay okay so we need to add uh, something different uh, like um, like this and this one and then so the password should not be just a dictionary word so i just added payment so it is just a simple dictionary word i need to use some complex uh, password so i have added and it has been created okay and here this this uh, information that you need to save this is the app like api login id transaction id and then the key okay so we will use these um, uh, this credential to log to create and configure the uh, online payment so we will have to go to the invoicing and then uh, under the invoicing uh, we will have to go to the configuration and then payment acquires okay where it is payment acquires there it is okay so here we need to uh, confirm authorize.net so let me search it this is authorize.net so it is already installed so we need to activate it authorize.net and then uh, let me select test mode so we need to configure the test mode so here we need to add the information so let me copy it this is the api login id and this is uh, the transaction key and api signature this is api signature okay transaction key API signature okay and then uh, we need to click the generate uh, client key uh, to generate uh, this API client key so it has been created so hit the save button to save the record and if we go to the configuration we have different option here so you can uh, add this option like save the record save the cards and you can uh, it check the option capture manual payments and you can either use the acquirer website to uh, add the payment to do the payments or you can use the odoo form for this purpose so for this purpose so we would use the payment uh, odoo form uh, here and um, this is it and let me save it and then uh, i will just create a sales order to do the payment okay and let me create a sale order and then uh, select any customer and okay any product and amount is 100 and save it okay and after this um, let me show you one more thing here we have two option online signature online payment so if you want to uh, deactivate the online payment option for this sales order so you just need to uncheck this and you will not be able to see the online payment option and uh, if you uh, want to deactivate the online signature so you can do it from here so we just uh, uh, we need to deactivate the online i just want to deactivate it so we can send this uh, quotation by email here and we can just generate the link directly by clicking the share button and uh, then open this in a private window to uh, do the online payment this screen so here you can see this is the sales order number and a sorry quotation number and all this information so the customer will see this button so uh, once click on this button you will see this screen but uh, we have uh, to uh, make this order as sent uh, so you will have to either click on the sales by email or you can make it uh, mark as uh, sent here okay and 
and then uh, let me refresh the screen again here like this one and let me refresh it and then uh, click this so you here you can see the payment methods now so we will use credit card authorize uh, by authorize uh, dot net and here you will see this screen so here you just need to add a test uh, card number so for this purpose we can uh, use like uh, authorize uh, sandbox okay uh, authorize sandbox account uh, credit uh, card numbers okay and here uh, let me just uh, open any of this where we can find it so let me just uh, find it here and this is the link that you can open it like this one i will add it in the description so these are the test uh, credit card numbers and let me add here credit card number and this should be the future date uh, like month is uh, 5 and uh, 30 and month is 5 and 23 or 1 2 3 4 okay pay so one click uh, on the pay pay button it will create the uh, order it will uh, confirm the order it will create the delivery it will create the invoice here you can see it has created the invoice created the delivery and uh, let me show you on the screen okay and let me go here so here you can see and let me refresh it so this is currently in quotation state and once you refresh the screen it will be in the sale order state and so here you can see this is the delivery created this is the invoice so let me go to the invoice and uh, here you can see the invoice is paid because it has been paid online if you go down here you will see that it has been paid uh, and this is the payment uh, that has been created and this is the payment token that has been uh, created and saved and here it is co uh, connected to the invoice so this is how you can uh, configure the payment acquirers and uh, uh, make online payments so if you enjoyed this video please give a huge thumbs up and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the uh, videos. Thank you.